Guys, uh, like I said, it does not happen every day, it does not happen every week, but if we do happen, that's great. Uh, there are some things we want to keep in mind, though, if we do have that interaction. Number one, guys, is we, we interact with one hand and one hand only. If, you're at, if you have two hands on that manatee, FWC is going to say you're riding that manatee, you're holding that manatee from leaving, you're stopping it from taking a breath of air, all those crazy things that you shouldn't do to any animal, let alone a manatee. Um, a couple places we want to avoid, guys, is going to be the face. So I mentioned they have all those whiskers on their face, their face is very sensitive. And I wouldn't like someone coming to me and going, hey, how are you doing? And poking me in the nose all day. All right, I wouldn't like that, man. Yeah. Another thing you want to avoid, guys, is underneath the flipper pits. Flipper pits is a funny word. Underneath the flipper pits, on the females, this is where the mammary glands are located. This is where they nurse the young from. It's very sensitive area. You may get more man's in your market for today. So that's another area we're going to stay away from. And then finally, guys, we're going to stay away from the tail area. So their tail, guys, uh, it's not so much for the tail, but their neck. They don't have the vertebrae in their neck to turn around and look what's going on behind them. If you touch them on the tail area and they don't know you're there, it's going to spook them and freak them out and they'll take right off. So guys, there's some three areas we're going to avoid. But back of the head on their back, or if they roll over and give a little belly scratch up, it's fine. Like I said, I'll let you guys know if we do have that opportunity today.